Recently I've been working with Anna, she's a pro tennis player and she's trying to improve her forehand. So she sent me some videos online and this is one forehand that I got out of it. Let's just run that back and see how she's doing what a lot of players do which is to drive the racket out towards the target. But there's a couple of things wrong with that. One is now the strings are actually facing offline and that happens quite quickly when you when you do this but also rather than swinging and throwing the racket at the ball you end up pushing through the hit so you can hit it with a bit of force if you get your weight behind it but you're not really going to generate that racket speed if you watch the next one you can see the same thing here sort of driving through the hit now what i like to do is to capture someone doing something well and see if they can learn from that because it's far easier for for you to learn from yourself than from me explaining something to you. So I'm going to use Anna here as a good example of what I think she should do more of, which is to turn over the forearm there and the wrist. And this is going to ge generate a lot more racket speed. It's going to be a smoother, more efficient stroke, but the racket's going to travel faster. Now, what I also like is look how the strings face the target the whole way. They're still facing the target here. So that's something to look out for. The other thing I like to focus on is if she was wearing a wristwatch on her right wrist, she'd be able to tell the time here. So that's just something, if you want to develop this shot, that's something you can learn from. If we go back to the others, this one here, you can see at this point, her opponent would be seeing her wristwatch. So you've got to try and turn that arm over. That's going to have that... Um, throw in motion where you release the racket and the wrist and you're going to generate the effortless racket speed. Now after talking to her online about this and going through some uh, some examples of her doing things well and, and not so well, this was the final one that she sent me the other day and you can see how she's now turning the arm over, a lot more efficient, sort of throwing the racket at the ball and even on the run here she's able to do it and release the racket. So which is a better kinetic chain. The racket's going to swing faster. And she's able to release it, basically throw the racket at the ball as she's turning over that arm. So great progress. Look forward to continuing to work with her and I'll talk to you soon.